Oh, buddy, what's going on, everyone? Jerome here, and welcome to an awesome episode of Shell Shock Live. Today, we're just going to be playing some March mode in a random online lobby that I found, so we don't know who we're playing against. That's pretty much it. So, wish us luck. Should be fun. And, oh, we have a Mega Nuke in there. That's kind of... I mean, it doesn't do anything for us, but actually, it could screw up someone's shot. If I go ahead and hit the marksman target and it hits them, it'll kind of make such a big dip in the ground. It might actually mess them up for future shots. Interesting. Either way, though, I think we got, by the looks of it, not the best of attacks. The only real spread attacks that I see, so that if we were to, like, try, like, prey and spread, like, a shotgun almost, is we have bullfrogs. You could sort of count double bounce folks of how much it bounces around. Um, and... Genuinely, I think that's it. Actually, these might be some of the worst weapons we've ever gotten for this game mode before. So, this is going to be a little bit of a struggle city. Not to say that we can't win, but it is definitely going to be a difficult one. So, we're going to put our heads to the to the test and uh, see what happens. Alright. And... No one's lost yet. Not surprising, though. There's only four people, and the target's pretty big still. And... Oh, no, Wait! Hey, he almost hit a guy with that one. All right. Oh, I wish that was mine because I need that. Like, without any spread shots, I need something easy like that. Okay. Hey, and speak of the devil, we end up getting exactly what we wished for. There we go. Chunker. Hold us in the game. Okay. I don't want to use my spread unless I have to. Like, the bullfrog's like a last resort. Wow, great boomerang from that guy to hit the target and to get the care package and to almost hit Mad Lucky. That was like a really good attack, actually. A very solid strike on his part. All right, what's Mad Lucky going to do now? Dun, dun, dun. We'll find out in a second. Okay, nothing too scary, I suppose. Nothing too scary. All right, and Adnan. Okay, Adnan, Nimer, Austin, Everband. Nope. Hey, another easy one. All right. We need these. I think our weapons are so bad. Oh my gosh, that would have that would have been easy for us too if this was still our turn. We'll find out in a second and see if this guy should be able to hit it, though. It's not really hard trajectory. In fact, you could probably aim it directly at the target. You don't have to overshoot it, I wouldn't think. Yeah, he hit that one pretty easy. Uh, okay, for Mad Lucky, this shouldn't be hard. I was going to say if it was Anonymer, uh, I feel like that would have been a lot harder, but it's not. Actually, come to think of it, we've all kind of gotten some very easy shots today. We're all kind of lucking out here. Uh oh moons! Okay. And there we go. Another one. I will take that one gladly. Thank you. And perfect. Whoa! This guy got a little bit of trouble. Maybe. No. Wait. Nope, he can get a direct shot at it now if he moved enough. Okay, if he didn't have good enough tracks, he would have been in big trouble. That could have been an, that could have been an, uh, a round ender for him, to be honest with you. A serious round ender. Okay, let's see. Now, see, if this was mine, I would just shoot the same trajectory, do double bounce blow, and just kind of hope that they would fall right in there. That would probably be my best bet. Um, maybe lower it down a little bit if I could. I might be able to lower it by, like, one angle, but otherwise just throw a double bounce blow in there and call it a day, I'd say. And there we go. Nice kill. All right, Adenimer. What are you going to do? Ah, uh, two times out of the block. And hey, one down. Okay, let's do a witch's broom. I'll take that one. And oh, this might be the second guy about to drop off. This could potentially be. He goes, I thought the two times was the target. That's why he did that. I was going to say, I'm like, it didn't even look like he tried on that last one. And Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense then. Uh, I guess I kind of get what he was going for there. Oh, this guy's going to be able to salvage himself now. Maybe. Wow! Very unlucky for him. So, I mean, I'll take it. I luck, it's luck for us, so I'll take it. But very unlucky for him. And that'll bring us to the final two moment. The big final two. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Good sunburst on his part. Let's see. Yes, we grab that. Come on, give me a good weapon. Sprinkler, five points, and train. All of which do not help my situation out really at all. All right. And let's do a... I feel like, I feel like we could probably hit this like that. At that angle. No! Right underneath it. Wow! 
Well, either way, everybody, that was just round one. Smash that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying. We'll be back in round two. Wish me luck. I really hope we can win this one. All right, and the big moment is here, everybody. Let's hope we got some better attacks this time around. And by the looks of it, I believe that we actually do have some better attacks. So let's take a quick look. We got Ghostlets. It's a good spread. Volcano doesn't really spread too much, but sort of. Tangent Fire, sort of. Um, Seagull definitely is like a spread. Bound Strike is a definite spread. Flame is a spread. Uh, Glock's a direct hit. It's just good because you can aim it like directly at the target and shoot, and it'll take it out. So overall, I'd say we have some good weapons for this this time, unlike last time. Wow, I thought he missed on that first shot there. I genuinely thought Mad Lucky was just mad unlucky for that shot. I was like, wow, that's... That's an unfortunate way to start for him, but uh, looks like he was able to pull through on it. So good for him. And, ooh, there we go. That guy got a nice shot in there. Okay, what about this next one here? It's our shot. Um, well, I mean, we already know the trajectory of our last one. I can just move it back a little bit like that and probably just go ahead and try that. And that should theoretically hit, I'd say, right? I would think so anyway. Yeah, perfect. I say, I'd be pretty disappointed if that didn't just randomly hit. I was like, that's kind of like right on the mark, right on the money. Um, and luckily, that's exactly what it did, so we're good. Okay. And we're holding strong. The team is holding strong here. Let's see. And, oh no, what's Akarin doing? What's he got to do? No, oh, he drilled that one. He's fine. And then the water balloon got us. Right, our turn again. No signs of anyone losing just yet. Or anyone even coming close to losing just yet. I mean, this early on, too, everyone's still got all their good weapons left. It's going to be a little difficult to really kind of force someone out of the game this early, I suppose. It's going to take a little bit longer. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. All right. And... An easy enough one for Mad Lucky. Got to get rid of his arrow. So that's always nice for him. Bad for us, but nice for him. Okay. Oh, this target right here. Don't like the placement of this one for us. Okay, good shot. Good shot with the water balloon for him. And let's see. Wow! Everything totally just dropped in at once. That was a lot of everything kind of just at the same time. Okay, well, banana split. And free gears for everybody, and we got to hit the target. Hey, and we ended up hitting that guy too with a portal skill shot. We hit the target, we hit the gears, we hit a portal, and we hit someone else. We hit four different things with that one attack. That was just kind of a lot in one moment. Hey, he did banana split now too. Good, good. Okay, turn four. Right, we're starting to get to the danger zone. This is where, after turn five, is when the target gets very, very small. Uh, at least for a four-person round. It's usually only like turn three or so on an eight-person round where it gets like much, much smaller, but not the case at this point. All right, Akarin, what you want to do, bud? And solid old arrow. Okay. Let's see. Do I have... Oh, I have another banana. I'll just use banana again. There we go. Waste that one and save all the spread ones so that when the weapons restock at wave 10, we'll just be good to go for many more to come. Because we're going to need them as that target gets smaller. We're going to desperately need them as we get into, like, like round... Basically, after round 10, it's just pure desperation. Because the target's, like, the size of a dime. And you have to try and hit it. Um, okay, good. Might have to take advantage of our Glock attack soon. That's always a fun one. Let's... Oh, there we go. So now we're already dealing with one that might be a little bit hard for us. So I'll probably do flame and aim it just a little above it. There we go. How to use our first spread attack. And I'm okay with it. Because, I mean, this is starting to get to the danger territory. Good shot for him. Oh, easy shot for Mad Lucky. Want me to duct tape that to the barrel of your gun or something for you, pal? That's... A little bit lucky for you, huh? It's fine. It happens. I'm not a shit. Just a shit. Okay, Akron. Nice and a spreader. Hey, he ended up doing 30 extra damage. Okay, let's see if we can drill this target here. And 
Hmm, what do I want to do for this? I mean, any attack really will probably do. It's kind of straight up. Yeah, heavy hover ball. So it's like kind of straight up, so I should be able to hit it anyway. And, oh, almost hit a guy anyway with that. That would have been pretty funny. And almost hit where the, the location of the next target was, too. That's pretty cool, too. Pretty funny things all around. And a big swing and a miss. The first guy to drop. One down for us. I'll take it. I'll take any small victory we can get our hands on. And, oh, he ended up almost shooting himself with that. Oh, where's this going? Oh, it's coming right back at him. Minus 10. No. Oh my gosh, that's so tiny. That is such a tiny, tiny target to hit for us. Luckily, we have Glock. I feel bad for the other guys, but let's see. Wow, even Sinklet's almost missed that one, to be honest. Okay, come on, give me another spread attack. Cosmic Rift, counter 6,000. Counter 6,000's always nice. It's always a very nice one to use. Okay, we should have a direct shot at this one, so I don't really want to mess this up. Um, should do Volcano. No! Wow! Now I'm upset. I can't believe that missed. And now I'm curious, too. I wonder... If this guy's going to be able to hit that target or not. Because if he doesn't, then technically we would have been in the final two. The round, like If we just lasted one more round. If we just hadn't gotten ripped off by getting so close to the target. No, because so he hit that one. Akron, would you have hit it? I'm pretty sure he's going to get this one. Because he got a nice, easy layup drill of one. Let's see. Yes, sir. -y. He got it. And spreading them out. Okay. What does Mad Lucky want to do? We'll find out in a second here. Okay, not bad, not bad. Akron, do you have anything to say to this, bud? And... Dang, they are going at it. They're really going at it. This is going to be a long round, I can tell already. Can definitely tell it's gonna be a long round. All right, static. Okay, now that unless he has, a, if he doesn't have a spread attack left, that might be the end of it. We'll see. It's got some legs. It's got some distance to go. So you never know. And seagull direct shot on it. Wow, good for him. Oh, the new weapon supplies are in. So things just got a little bit easier for him. It was a little refreshing after that. Let's see. And Akarin. What are you going to do, bud? What are you going to do for this one? And... Easy peasy. Okay. Well, hopefully they'll be able to pull this one off. Hey! A moving machine gun shot! I love when this game lags like that. Sometimes they don't finish moving and they'll just start shooting. It happens every once in a while. It's like a very rare thing. It's like a visual glitch almost or just I guess visual lag. I, I don't know what else it could be, but it happens from time to time. You, you can't actually shoot while moving in this, but... All right. And a big swing and a miss to end it off. So it looks like Mad Lucky did get lucky and win this one. But apart from that, everybody, take care. Hope you all had a great time. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe and let us know in the comment section what you want to see next time for Shell Shock. Thanks, everybody.